Hello and welcome everybody to the Song Lin Lab Recruitment Weekend video panel. Um, and I think we should probably start by introducing ourselves. So my name's James. I'm a postdoc in the Lin Lab. Kyle. All right. Hey everyone. My name's Kyle. I'm a first year in the Lin Lab. Hey, what's up? I'm a second year student in the Lin Lab. Her name? Oh, my name is actually Jonas. Uh, the speech shows Ilaria Schöner, which is not my name. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Wei Yang, and I'm um, also a second year in Songling Lab. Hi, um, my name is Jingjian, and I'm a fourth year grad student in Ling Lab. Welcome, everyone. Hi, my name is Juno, and I'm a fifth year uh, since the start of the Ling Lab. Awesome. Wow. So this is, this is great. We're going to be talking about our lives in the Lin Lab and talking about grad school at Cornell. Uh, and I think we should take a, a little bit of time to describe where we came from and why we ended up at, at Cornell. So, uh, Juno, you want to start us off as the, the first grad student in the Lin Lab? Yes. So um, as an undergrad, I was, uh, you know, very interested in electrochemistry and organic chemistry. And I did pretty well in these two topics as an undergrad. And uh, I was, you know, doing research in an electrochemistry lab. And so my uh, PI back in England told me to uh, do something more blue sky and daring for your PhD rather than, you know, something more established. And when I was interviewing, uh, different professors and visitation weekend, Song was a brand new uh, professor there. Didn't even know who he was, wasn't even on the webpage. And then he started talking about organic chemistry and how he likes to incorporate that with electrochemistry. And I was like, oh wow, this sounds like exactly what I wanted to do. And so I decided to, to join his lab instead of Abrunia's lab because Abrunia's lab was like one of the top labs in electrochemistry, very well established. But remembering what my PI in England told me to do, I decided to uh, join Song's lab. Jin Jin? Um, so I guess I decided to go to grad school at Cornell is because, well, first of all, um, Cornell has a very strong chemistry program. And when I visited Cornell, I had a really good conversation with Son. I think um, he's going to be a great PI because he seems to be very reasonable and is really passionate about um, his research. Um, another big factor for me, I think, is because I got to interact um, with like the leaders in the fields um, and as well as interact with really, really brilliant co-workers in the lab. I think that's going to help me more personally to grow as a scientist. Yeah. Leon. Hi, everyone. Uh, so I graduated from UW, uh, UW Madison, uh, major in chemistry. Uh, most focusing on the organic chemistry. I decided to go to Cornell because I have a strong attachment with organic chemistry. And also I was uh, really, uh, I really like uh, Son's uh, research. So he's uh, already very well known in our uh, school when I was graduating. And uh, his electron chemistry is uh, a very uh, strong field as, as far as we can see. Jonas? Yeah, so my uh, story to the Lind Lab is actually a little different from Juno's story, where he started off doing organic electrochemistry, organic electrosynthesis as a blue sky research field. Um, when I joined, which was uh, now uh, two years ago, which was four years later than Juno, organic electrochemistry during that time really was established as a major field of interest in organic chemistry research and at this point as a huge uh, cornerstone of electrochemistry. So when I joined the Lin Lab, it was kind of a different situation that electrochemistry already has been established. Recently, there was an NF uh, NSF center funded uh, for electrochemistry. So I really wanted to get into that field to uh, use chemistry to do more sustainable transformations to hopefully aid the fight against climate change. And uh, that's kind of how I got into electrochemistry. 
And the choice to come to Cornell was then pretty natural as Song is an absolute leader in catalytic organic electrochemistry, where you then can trans, uh, combine your knowledge in transition metal chemistry maybe, and organic electrosynthesis, and hopefully build towards a more sustainable future. And after joining Cornell, I just realized, oh, there are also a lot of other PIs around. So when you make the decision, hopefully, to join Cornell, you'll actually find that there will be more PIs which might be in your interest. For example, Tristan Lambert also does electrochemistry and combines that with photochemistry in a really innovative way. There will be Todd, Todd Heister, who does uh, enzyme catalysis and in redox, uh, redox um, single electron transfer fashion. So there's a lot of interesting stuff at Cornell. For sure. And Kyle, you know, you joined Cornell most recently, so it should be fresh in your memory. Why oh, yeah. Cornell? The, the Cornell story was really interesting for me. So I actually met Song back in 2018 when I was giving a presentation at uh, the International Conference for the Society, for the Electrochemical Society. And while I was there giving that presentation, my PI, Diane Smith, who's also a, a pretty predominant leader in analytical electrochemistry, uh, told me that Song Lin was this rising star in the field of electrochemistry, specifically applying it to organic synthesis. Well, at the same conference, Dr. Phil Barron was presenting, and I had the opportunity to speak with Dr. Phil Barron. And uh, given that I did my undergraduate in San Diego at San Diego State University, Phil Barron actually invited me to come to the Scripps Research Institute and shadow uh, Yu Kawamata, the student in his lab who kind of pioneered the work on the electrosyn alongside and helped develop it with Phil Barron. So I got to spend a year attending Phil Barron's uh, group meetings on Saturdays and shadowing Yu Kawamata uh, for about an hour or so afterwards, just kind of learning about electro, uh, synthetic, organic, synthetic organic electrochemistry and kind of Phil Barron's role in that. And I got to speak to him. And during these conversations, I heard Song's name come up again, but he was also doing really great work in this field from Phil. And you said, oh yeah, Song and I, Song and I talk all the time. I have him on, the, on my cell phone. So when I learned about Song's name started to pop up in that regard, but then also my research specifically um, in Diane Smith's lab uh, had, so I'd be oxidizing and reducing molecules and it, causing them to hydrogen bond more strongly with guests that they, that they were interacting with, uh, host or guest molecules. And during some of these uh, redox processes, I would observe irreversible transformations that implied some sort of covalent interaction between these molecules. And I thought to myself, wow, it'd be really cool if we could understand what exactly was happening, what bonds were forming, and then control that to do novel transformations and functionalizations using electrochemistry as, in synthetic or as a organic synthetic tool. And that's when I started diving more into this idea, like at Phil Barron, and that's when Song's work started to really pop up. Furthermore, I saw a lot of this work using redox chemistry to create organic molecules was being developed using photochemistry. Now, photochemistry is just the other side to the same coin as electrochemistry. It's just redox chemistry applied to organic synthesis. And so I'd seen a lot of work developed by photochemistry, and no one even thought maybe this reaction could not only be done more efficiently using electrochemistry, but could also be furthered and taken to another level because photochemistry is famous for single electron transfer processes, but electrochemistry opens the door for multi-electron transfer processes and is inherently catalytic given that you can change the potential at either at a single working electrode or between your anode and your cathode. You have a complete catalytic system all in one. And so that's when I uh, applied for Song Lin's group at Cornell because I saw his work was not only in catalytic electrochemistry, synthetic organic electrochemistry, but also his work in collaboration with Tristan Lambert doing photocatalytic electrochemistry, so uh, electrophotocatalysis, combining light and electricity in one to do organic transformations was, I kid you not, the perfect, it was everything I wanted in research. So this is a clear choice for why I came to Cornell. Not only wow. that, but out of all of the, I, I've also visited UC San Diego and UCLA and some other institutions. There's multiple people in the department using electrochemistry in a novel way that's directly in line with organic synthesis that showed me that this department really has their mind set on implementing this new technology in a really exciting fashion. And so that's why I chose to come to Cornell overall. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, I think it's what I love about the Lin Lab is it's an opportunity to do great research at the cutting edge of organic chemistry in an environment of people that are doing awesome research and are always willing to chat or, or help out if, 